key of imagination. To our um, guide image that we have down here and um, start building. So it, we don't have to get really close. It doesn't you know, need to be right on the edge. We can just kind of start up here a little bit and just make sure that you include the whole thing. Clicking as you go to make different uh, anchor points and to about there. Again, we can just kind of go up to here, about there, and we can just go ahead and click here and then close it. And now, oops, I clicked one too many times. Okay, so I hit escape and that'll back us up. So now you can see that we have this selection here. So now what we want to do is we want to copy this. So we can go edit, copy. Okay, now we can switch over to our file that has both the layers and now we go edit paste as new layer now you can see we have three layers here and this is our latest one that we just pasted in so with this one oops sorry uh, we want to select our move tool and we can move it around and what we want to do is go ahead and scroll down and kind of move it into place this piece actually goes right around down in here and uh, what we want to do first is go ahead and turn it into the right orientation. So with this rotate tool, we will go ahead and select it and click inside of the selection. We can go ahead and tell that the angle is 180 degrees and rotate it and that'll spin it around. So now, oops, um, I keep forgetting to select the move tool. Okay, now we can kind of move it and you will see that uh, this piece here, although it's a little smaller, is actually this piece that goes right up along here kind of so we're going to put it in approximate location here and uh, it actually needs to be rotated a little bit more because this line here should actually be uh, vertical up and down so we're going to go ahead and click on the rotate tool again and click in it move the window out of the way and then we can kind of do a free uh, rotate here and kind of get it straight up and down and then uh, click on rotate here and that'll accept it the other thing we want to do with this as well is we want to go ahead and turn its opacity to about 50%. So again, we can kind of see through it and we can see where we're working. So select the Move tool again. We'll kind of move it over. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit higher. I had it down this a little bit too much. Okay, so now we kind of get it approximately in the right spot. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and scale it. So with this tool here, this is the Scale tool. So we click in it and you can click inside here and you can actually manually type in some dimensions here but we don't want to do that we'll move that window out of the way and we'll go ahead and we can grab it on one of the uh, anchor points and move it one trick is if you move it left and right you'll see that it just stretches it in the width if you hold down the control key while you do that I'm sorry the alt key no okay that's not what I wanted Okay, I guess this doesn't work the same way as I'm used to. Okay, there we go. If you grab on one of the top edge corners here and hold down the control key, it will move and scale proportionately. Um, I guess you don't really need to hold down the control key. Okay, shows how much I know about the GIMP. I've only used it a few times. So sorry about that, a little bit confusing. But anyway, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and scale it. And as I'm scaling it it's moving it to the right so we'll just have to select it oops okay let's try this again <laughs> click on the scale tool and click in here and now we will scroll up and we will grab it on one of the control points here okay I see if you hold down the control key the left edge kinda stays a little more in line no not really but okay anyway you get the idea and so we want to go ahead and scale it and then we need to click on scale after we're all done or I believe we can hit enter yeah you can hit enter and it will also accept it so once again you just kind of move it scale it move it until it gets in place so we kinda of, again we want the the bottom edge of the uh, yellow kinda of caution um, representing caution um, like caution tape to be on the bottom edge here and we want this blue edge here to pretty much be on this line here so once again we will kind of move it over in place to about there and as you can see we went a little bit too wide because this edge here 
should be on this black line here. So what we will do is we will scale it again and we will click in it so that we have the guides and we will scale it down a bit and see how that is. That's a little better. Okay, so now we're still I'm going to click on the move. Still pretty much uh, on target here and if we scroll up a little bit you'll see that we're pretty close at the edge of that. We're over just a hair so I'm going to go ahead and scale it back just a little bit and click on the scale button and that's looking a little better as far as the edge here being on the edge of that line. So we scroll down and you can see that we're pretty good down here. Um, you will notice it does appear that this line right here is outside of our yellow. That probably will need to be fixed manually apparently. Um, our, the way our image was originally taken it's kind of distorted a little bit but uh, that will need some touch up that you can do later. And as you can see this piece here that we pasted actually should come up to this line here and have the shape follow this line here is around here but again it was a broken piece. So uh, again that can be manually fixed by basically copying this portion here um, and pasting it up here and kind of copying some of the blue here and pasting it up in here and doing a manual draw. I'm not going to go into that detail but I think you kind of get the idea. So at this point we would go ahead and save our file and um, move on to the next piece and again you can switch over to the plastic uh, piece here, copy another piece, whichever one you choose to, switch back over to your guide image, and again, edit, paste as, new layer, and repeat the whole process of rotating, scaling, moving, etc., until you get it placed. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you.